I'm MashMable12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a thumbnail or multiple thumbnails from um, a video that is being uploaded um, to the website. So first of all, um, what I'm going to do first is, well, I've just got a simple upload form here, you should file, upload, nothing happens yet, but, um, and there's the code for that. So first of all, um, what I'm going to do is just create some comments. Um, basically these comments are the commands that um, that we're going to be using so in the um, ffmpeg command um, we're going to be using a dash i um, basically this just gets the input um, file name and um, these will all come clear to you um, later on when we start uh, coding this command so an um, disables the audio um, even though it is an image file it probably won't but um, x um, dash sx is to get the image from x amount of seconds in the video um, so that tells the script where to get the image from um, from the video so if you put dash sx dash ss um, five, for example, um, that will get the a, a screenshot of the video from the fifth second in of the five seconds. Um, and dash s um, is the size of the image. So basically, the dimensions. So if you wanted it um, in 720p, you'd obviously do 1280 by 720, um, full HD, uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, basically, they're the commands that we're going to be working with, and I've got that wrong way around. There we go. Okay, so them, them commands will come clear to you once we actually start coding the uh, command. So, first of all, I'm going to show you how to get one thumbnail from the video, and then I'm going to show you how to get multiple thumbnails from um, the same video all in one go. So first of all we need to create a variable called ffmpeg and this is basically the location of ffmpeg on your machine so if you're um, on your web host using Linux you'd have to use um, something like um, home forward slash public um, underscore html if you do a um, something like if you use the um, the, the name function I think um, and then put in there like the, the path um, you will get the uh, the full path from the root directory so um, that's sort of how to do it on a Linux server really if you don't really know but on um, a Windows basically to get it you go to um, where you installed it basically so here is where I installed it and um, if you click on the little folder bit here you get the path um, right there obviously we need the bin because we need to work with that um, this FMPEG application basically is what we need. So if you can grab that and then put it in there and then put uh, backslash FMPEG, but because um, basically because so say if we echo this, echo this out now, you'll see um, what happens with this. Um, And we'll get something like this because of um, um, the backslash, and you need to escape the characters. So to do this, you just basically put double backslashes on there, um, just like that, and that should come out just fine now, the way we want it. There we go. C backslash fmpeg backslash bin backslash fmpeg, and that's the fmpeg location now. So that's basically what it should point to. Um, so next we're going to get to the video file that's been uploaded so that is dollar underscore um, files with dimensional array you know, we called it file and we want the temporary name okay um, now the image file um, we're just going to call this say one dot jpeg um, you can call it whatever you want size um, Size, um, so the dimensions of the um, the image basically. So what I'm going to do is one, two, oh, uh, 
by 90 pixels basically this is the size of YouTube's um, thumbnails so when you're going through the video listening suggestions down the side um, that's basically the size of what them images are so that's why I've chosen that um, so I'm going to get from second I'm basically going to say get it from the fifth second in the video um, now this is the command now so CMD so in here we're going to put um, so we're going to use FFmpeg um, dash i which is the input file now so we want the video file um, dash an because we want to disable the audio dash ss um, to get the um, size I mean get the uh, uh, where we want to get it, it's up here. <laughs> um, get from the second of the video. So we want to get from second. So get from the fifth second. Um, um, dash S is the size. Um, so the dimensions of the um, image that we want to be produced. And then the image file. So the output file of what we want to save it as. Uh, this will basically save it in the same directory. Um, if you want it saved elsewhere, say like thumbnails, you probably put thumbnails forward slash, just like that. Um, obviously that directory has to exist. Um, so that's the command there. Basically this command, once all this is filled in, so say if we just echo out cmd. Obviously because we've not coded this right properly now. So basically what we want to do first is do an if. if is set okay so now if we choose a little file um, I'm going to just choose um, uh, where our uh, videos say if I just choose uh, video intro I'll upload that um, alright so it's not been echoed out one second right stupid mistake there I spelled submit wrong. There we go. Um, so refresh the page. Um, forget about this um, up to now, but this is what we want. So, um, what is this actually? Line 27 undefined index files. Line 27. Um, Alright, because we call it file, not files. So refresh. There we go. So this is a command. Basically, if you copy and paste this into, say, the terminal in Linux or the command prompt in Windows, um, basically, that will sort of work, providing you this TMP file still there. Or basically, that's the input file. So if you change that, um, that basically will still work. But that's how to do it in PHP. Um, so basically, we don't need to echo the command out anymore. Right. So now what we need to do is shell underscore execute basically we put the cmd in there um, basically that executes in the shell so um, in linux once again it's the terminal and in um, windows it's the command prompt so that will basically execute this command here which is what you've just seen in the browser that little command and um, so then basically what we can do is um, well actually if we put that in an if Um, echo um, thumbnail created else echo error error creating thumbnail so basically if it returns a true value which means it uh, executed correctly then it'll say thumbnail created, if not, then it will say error creating thumbnail. So basically what I'm going to do here now is if I just open up this and um, just make it a bit smaller so we can see. Um, and basically what what's this? Right, we don't need that anymore. Um, here's the directory. So if I refresh this page and resend the data, you should see thumbnail created up in the browser. And in this folder here, we should see an image uh, called one.jpg. 
Oh, I would create a thumbnail, but obviously created, so uh, you probably need a knot on there. It probably works the other way around. And um, thumbnail created, there we go. And here's the thumbnail right here. Um, it's very small, um, obviously, because working with images, and that's by 120 by 90, and that's been created successfully. Um, right, so that's how to get one. So what I'm going to do now is just delete this one.jpg and um, let's say if I just um, come out of there and say get multiple thumbnails from one video basically what we can do this is we can basically just copy this ffmpeg variable because that's going to be the same um, the video file is obviously the same and the size is going to be the same right the only thing that's different now is we're going to use a for loop well a for yeah for loop not a for each um, a variable called num and that's going to be equal to one basically it's going to be equal to one because we're going to increment this number and this is going to be the name of the image file so we're going to start with one um, and then we're going to increment that number to be two on the second time round so the next one's going to be two.jpg and so on until you to whenever you want to stop basically and um, so we're going to carry on if num is less than or equal to three so basically I'm going to get three images so say if you wanted five you put five there if you wanted ten you'd put ten there and I'm just going to stick with three images and after that's done I'm just going to increment the number by one so now I'm going to set an interval which is basically num um, times three so basically um, this will get a um, thumbnail for every three seconds within the video. So it will get the first thumbnail from the third second. The second thumbnail will be from the six from um, six seconds, and the third thumbnail will be from the nine seconds, and so on. And if you want to go any further, um, and then basically just um, shell underscore x second there. And basically, we can just copy this command into there, just like that. But we need to change um, this get from second um, to interval, and the image file here um, needs to be num um, dot jpeg. We want to change, we want to save it as dot jpeg. I want to and this number is the incremented number up there okay so if I save this um, you can implement that if statement if you want but I'm just going to um, um, thumbnail created um, num.jpg and then going to say echo Um, you'll you'll see what this is all about in a minute, um, and then from okay, um, semicolon. Right, so if I now open up the browser and this folder again here, um, so once again resend this data the same image video file. Um, we've got th three thumbnails created. Um, it says four. Um, you could probably do a minus one on that because of the. Uh, it's just the increments basically. So. Um, num. Uh, you could probably just leave that out then. You, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just the increments basically putting it, adding one. Um, so you'd obviously have to refresh that to basically. But that ha has created, shows you it's created three thumbnails. One, two, three at JPEG, and here they are here. 
one, two, and three with different times of the video. So that's how to get um, one thumbnail from a video and multiple thumbnails all in one go. Um, and basically, I've shown you how to get multiple as well um, because of the video I'm going to do about a rollover effect. So basically, um, when the user hovers over a video thumbnail, the thumbnail will change to another thumbnail, basically showing you little previews of the video. Basically, you've probably seen it before. Um, and that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.